welcome back to my channel. Hershey and I just finished our little morning jog. So now I'm just about to grab my little protein shake for my breakfast. I don't do this every single day, but today I'm feeling for one. This is the protein that I use. It's an organic uh, vegan protein. I hate like, I hate the regular proteins. I do. They just, they're too much dairy. It makes my sinuses run and all that. So I love this and it actually doesn't taste bad. All it is is some ice. Then I take some almond milk, but this is the unsweetened version because Regular almond milk is just absolutely way too sweet. So I do about two cups of that. And I go in with about one and a half, like a heaping scoop of my protein shake. Then I go in with a half cup of oats, also heaping. This is what makes me full, the oats part. It's what makes it really like a meal replacement. And the last thing is a scoop of peanut butter. This is my favorite peanut butter. I don't like the other peanut butters, like the Jif's peanut butter. That thing is sweet. This one is like perfect. It's not overly sugary, it's just delicious. And it gives like a really, just the perfect peanut buttery taste. It's Justin's peanut butter. If you don't know, now you know. Give it a try, it's literally so good. So I very rarely purchase products because I mean, I mean, yeah, right? But the last time I went to Target for some reason, this caught my eye. So this is the Do, a black owned brand, their Big Papa Defining Gel. Very, very excited to give it a try. Drying new gels is probably one of my favorite things to do. So that's the gel we're gonna be using today. So now I just need to figure out what shampoo and conditioner I should use. You know what? My hair has been absolutely loving the Brio Geo Super Moisturizing Shampoo. Because it's getting cold now, my hair has just been loving the extra moisture so i think i'm gonna use this am i gonna do a treatment today or just a conditioner i honestly don't have much time today because my alarm did not go off i fell asleep on facetime with george last night so my alarm for some reason i don't know if it's like the new update on the iphone but my alarm did not go off i meant to get up at 7 30 but ended up not waking up until 9 so oh, i'm a little behind what time is it now yeah it's 10 35 so <laughs> I am just trying to move through this wash as quick as possible so we can get on to everything else that needs to be done today. So this is what we're going to go for. Don't despair repair shampoo. Don't despair repair conditioner. It's all about super like deep moisture and protein and free um, repair, which is great. It's just a super balanced wash. And then boom, we're going to try this big pop out. I've been rocking my hair in a cute side part for the last week. You guys are actually saying how you loved my side part and you did want to see an in-depth video on how I did it. So let's just do another side part again today. All right, so starting with the shampoo, sectioning is still very much a big thing as I have been continuing to go through like a little trial and error process with my new hair. I have been trying different things, different techniques, basically every wash and go. I'm not water dripping all over my face. <laughs> sectioning is just very important. You get a deep cleanse, you get deep moisture, and you just make sure that every single strand of hair is getting exactly what it needs. Time to get into some conditioner. I section for conditioner too, but I always like to start by just doing one big glob like this. I just feel like it automatically just completely softens the hair. Mmm, ugh, that's so good. I'm feeling that my hair is getting really long. Like it's growing way too fast. And especially with the side part, you're about to see like my hair, I feel like it looks so much longer and bigger with the side part. I'm like, do I need to chop it again? Every day, every day, I'm like, should I snip a little bit of this, a little bit of that? <laughs> the thing I really love about this conditioner is that in my opinion and for my hair, it feels like it gives it mask benefits without actually having to sit and do a mask for super long. You know what I mean? So this is kind of like my go-to conditioner when I need like intense moisture without having the time to sit down and do like a full on treatment. But it's literally so good. My hair loves this stuff. I think we gotta talk about skin really quick because I mean, I know y'all see these dark spots. My skin was doing so well and then 
hormones came through and most of these are all dark spots. This is an active bump and this is still, I feel a little something, but it's not like active, but it's not fully flat either. So all the rest of these are just dark spots now from other um, hormonal bumps that I've gotten. So annoying because like I said, my skin was going to look so good and I got it in such a good place. But anyways, um, I'm just working on getting my skin back and also simultaneously working on my eating and trying to focus on my gut health because apparently hormonal acne is also linked to your gut health and honestly I'm not the I'm not the healthiest eater I'll tell you that right now if you follow me on IG stories you already know this <laughs> I am not the healthiest eater so what I'm trying to do is clean up my eating so that I can kind of sort out the problem internally and then take care of my skin and be able to maintain clear skin that is a goal that is a goal i'm also working on finding a good dermatologist here so that's really what i'm working on um but i did want to mention the skincare that i am using this is a purifying gel cleanser it has natural salicylic acid in there it's by Codaly. this is actually their um line of skincare for acne prone skin so i've been loving this and then after that i go in with my dermalogica daily microfoliant this is, I actually, I actually do not live without this, okay? This is amazing. It's a daily exfoliant for the skin. And once you get it wet, it gets like nice and foamy like this. And there's enzymes in here that help to exfoliate the skin. I love this because basically when you have dark spots, the key is exfoliation. You want to scrub them away and bring back that skin that's underneath them, that new youthful skin that hasn't been plagued by hormonal acne spots, you know? So exfoliating is super important, but at the same time, because I exfoliate so much, I also have to balance out my exfoliation with moisture because if you over exfoliate, you will ruin your skin. You'll end up with more acne and all of that. So I'm very, very, very careful with how I'm exfoliating, how often, and the type of products that I'm using. To bring out Big Papa, I first of all I love the name of this gel. I think I have high hopes. I'm hoping this is amazing. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by sectioning my hair, and my shower is still on because I dip my hair back into it. So I'm just gonna show you exactly how I style my wash and goes in the shower now. It's super quick and easy. Love this for me. All right, so this is the size of my first section, and I'm just gonna dip it under the water a little bit. But I'm also then going to kind of squeeze the water into the hair shaft because one thing I've learned is that it is possible for your hair to be too wet and to kind of water down the product and then your wash and go just doesn't end up well. I did a wash and go like that and I was like, dang, I used way too much water because I just never had enough hold because I watered down the gel. So this is how I make sure that it's not going to be too much. So I just squeeze it a little bit. It'll still be dripping a little bit, but not like, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> So then we go in with the gel. Oh my gosh, let me show you guys what it looks like. It's a thicker type of gel. So it's not it's not jelly-like at all. It's just a thicker gel. I'm really curious to see what this is gonna be like in my hair. So then I just go ahead and apply. Ooh, this thing feels thick, okay? First of all, yes, this thing is thick. So I always like to start by combing it through and then I'll take my hand here Sprinkle a little additional water if I feel like it's not wet enough. And this way you just have more control over how much water, how much and how little water you're using. You know what's crazy? This is actually feeling a little fuzzy in my hair. Like when I add more water and I do this, definitely feels different from any other gels. It feels very, very unique. This is so crazy. It's actually getting, do you see this? It's getting like a little sudsy, which I don't know what that's about. I've never seen a gel get like sudsy like this. Honestly, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing at all. It's just, it's just real different. Look at that. I'm not even using a lot of products. 
not gonna lie, I'm a little bit thrown off by the suds. I hope that doesn't mean it's gonna like flake or something. Maybe that's just how it works, I don't know. And this is where the side part comes in. I'm just gonna kind of let my hair fall where it wants to. I like there to just be a natural, really chill kind of part. So I don't necessarily like for my part to show. And when you part it with like an actual comb, I feel like your part always shows. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of smooth down all the hairs on top so we don't have any frizz. All right, so <laughs> this is how we are looking. You can still see the suds here on top. We're gonna leave it like this and hope for the best. <laughs> So I am just gonna go ahead and let my hair air dry for the rest of the day. So now we gotta move on to a couple of other things that I need to get done on my to-do list. So first up, I need to ship a Poshmark order. Poshmark. <laughs> Poshmark. So if you didn't know, now you know I have a Poshmark store. Why do I keep calling it Poshmark? Poshmark. I sound British. It's Poshmark. <laughs> um, but it's basically a place where you can actually... As I was saying, my Poshmark store just has a bunch of items that are very, very lightly used. A lot of times I buy things and then I shoot in them, post on Instagram. Girl, can you stop the noise? She's driving me nuts right now. But yeah, a lot of times I buy outfits, take a pic on Instagram, and then boom, I don't sometimes i don't wear them again so whenever i come up on a case where i know like literally i've only worn it once sometimes it's even a matter if i haven't even worn it out like i've worn it in the house taken photos and just taken it right off super lightly used um so i'll just take a picture post it up on my poshmark and let people buy it at a extreme extreme discount i'm actually also thinking about going on and doing more of a discount for Black Friday. Anything else that doesn't really sell within around a year or so, I usually just take it over to the women's shelter and donate it that way. So it's a good way to kind of get rid of clothes and you know keep your closet nice and fresh. So I'm trying to keep up with like as much as I'm shopping, I'm also selling and donating at the same time. You know what I mean? So I have an order. So this is the item that sold. It is a sweater dress. You guys would have seen me take pictures in this last year. Literally shot a Charlotte Tilbury campaign that day and then took it right off and put it right on Poshmark. So after I ship this off, I'm actually gonna show you guys some other clothes that I just cleaned out of my closet. I just went through my closet and was like, what am I not gonna wear anymore? Take it out. So I put it in my other room down there and we're gonna go through those, decide what can go on Poshmark and then kind of update my store and maybe put on a little sale. I do my little handwritten thank you cards. Um, if you guys have ever gotten a giveaway box from me, this is something that I always do. I personally love to receive handwritten stuff, so I like to send stuff handwritten as well. I think it's so cute. I get so excited sending Poshmark orders. I just love it. All right, so this is the room with all the stuff. These are products that I set aside for giveaways. Hint, hint, there might be, you know, there might, might not. I don't know. There may be holiday giveaways, so stay tuned for that. This is the container where I keep everything that is currently on my Poshmark store. This so super comfy. Like, all of this is currently on there, but like I said, I'm going to go through and start a sale and just lower all the prices for everything. Look at this dress. Isn't this such a pretty color? These are some of the items that I have not been able to go through yet. So we're gonna do that right now. All the items that I need to take pictures of in this chair. You guys might recognize this from my Velma costume. So beautiful. Um, I am going to go ahead and sell that as well. It's just a, personally a little bit bright for everyday wear for me. This is another sweater that I love. It's just color blocked neutrals, completely my vibes. But I did want to go ahead and get some updated sweaters this year. So that's the reason why I am cleaning these out a little bit. We just gotta, you know, every once in a while you gotta upgrade, right? So good. Oh my gosh, okay. So we're about to have some new fire items on my store. Okay, it's giving corporate baddie. This is one of my favorite outfits when I was working in law firm marketing. I mean, it's giving body, but it's also giving professional. It's giving it take me seriously. Like, hello, with a pair of some heels and potentially like either a coat this time of year or a regular blazer. She's cute. So I just finished taking all the pictures of the new stuff. So I'm signing on to Poshmark and I'm also gonna go ahead and airdrop all the pictures. I just took 
some regular um, phone pics. Okay, had to do all the updates on my phone instead of my computer, but here we go. So everything's now live and I actually went through and dropped a lot of the prices on a lot of these things. I will put the link in the description box below so you guys can check it out, but literally like I'm selling like cheap things. And the cool thing about Poshmark is you can come through and put through an offer. So if I'm selling something for like 18 bucks, you can offer to pay 10 bucks for it. And nine times out of 10, I just be accepting offers, so. Okay, so I literally still feel like my hair is dripping right now. What time is it? It's 1.57, it's two o'clock. Where is the day gone? I just quickly want to diffuse it a little more because why is it still dripping right now? All right, that feels a little bit better, but so far so good. I'm not feeling a crunch like you usually do with more jelly types of gels. So curious to see how it's gonna look when it's fully dry and also how it's gonna last over the next couple of days. Anyways, it is time for lunch. Your girl is starving. So I'm bringing like all the things <laughs> downstairs, including my laptop, because after I finish eating, I'm probably gonna just work on my laptop. Let's get some emails and content planning and editing and posting all of that stuff out of the way. Oh, oh my gosh. And as I come downstairs, I remember another very large part of my to-do list, which is unboxing all of this stuff. I don't, I don't understand how the time is flying today. Like the day is gone. My boss is like absolutely begging to go outside. That's what you want, right? You got a pee pee outside? I'm not going out there though. It is freezing. So good luck, ma'am. I mean, this is the lunch of a champion, okay? All my lunches every day do not look like the hell. Sometimes I don't even eat lunch because I forget, but today, we're eating good. Ooh, that was so good. I need to eat like that more often. That was delicious. Okay, so I am now getting ready to post on Instagram. It's 2.41. I usually like to post anytime between like three to seven. Those are my favorite times to post. So I have a cute little IG reel. I actually edited the reel last night, so it's basically all ready to go. I just have to hit post. Who told you you could go outside looking as good as you look, looking all nice and sexy the way you look and going outside? The nerve, the audacity. <laughs> when I'm posting, how I look when I'm posting. <laughs> it's just real life y'all this is how it is um but i look cute that day okay and then i always like to comment back i try to respond to everybody's comments which is like usually impossible um but at least for like the first few comments i like to be on instagram making sure that i'm talking back to you guys so we're getting engagement popping all right so it's 2 45 i need to answer some emails, unbox this stuff, show you guys a couple of things, and then put on a teeny bit of like coverage stuff before we go and head over to Kim's house. Um, I also need to go and walk her she around the neighborhood so she can get her last poop in before I leave. Who thinks I'm gonna be on time? <laughs> Okay, so here's a couple of things that I unboxed. We have, this is like one of the newest products, if I could get this to focus. Okay, boom, so this is one of the newest Innersense products. It's a smoothing cream, so I'm interested to try this out. I know it says for like blowout styles, but I'm interested to try it out just like as a regular curl cream and see how it does for that. Um, they also sent through their hair bath and a daily conditioner as well as some organic tea, which I always love. Y'all know I don't drink caffeine, so we love some caffeine-free herbal tea, as well as this candle, which smells really, really good. Also got some new goodies from Skin Fix. Like I was telling you guys earlier, because I exfoliate so much, I have to really make sure that I'm hydrating my skin so my barrier doesn't get messed up, and their skin stuff is all about protecting your skin barrier, so very, very excited. I think this is exactly what my skin needs right now. I got some stuff from Trinity London. Look at how cute this pouch is. Like so stinking cute, obsessed. 
Skin Proud is also a new skincare brand that, uh, new to me at least, I'm not 100% sure if they're like new new, but another skincare brand for me to try, Neutrogena. So this is their Hydro Boost Water Gel. It's full of, just packed with hyaluronic acid, which is insane moisture. I'm very excited. And they also have a hyaluronic acid serum. So this is the right time of year for me to be trying these. And then we do have some makeup goodies. These are all from Urban Decay. And then we got a couple fun like holiday stuff from Bare Minerals. I am obsessed with this packaging. So cute, I do not know what's going on with my camera right now. It's been doing this. I feel like I need a new vlog camera, guys. It's so annoying, but. No big deal, just, you know, 45 minutes late, but it's fine. <laughs> you know, it's only when I'm rushing that Hershey takes the longest time to do what she needs to do. Only when I'm rushing, every single time. I got the wine like strapped in front seat with me. <laughs> hey girl! Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you, thank you, guys. I brought the wine. Hey. <laughs> okay, so this is my favorite wine. And this is just a random one that I thought was really pretty. So. <laughs> you look so cute. I tried to like dress up. Right? What's the outfit, Deeds? Give um, it to them. It's giving cheap bitch. Okay. <laughs> But then you wear the Balenciagas to throw them off. Ooh. Right. You, so it, one designer thing just to make them think it's expensive. Yeah, I love, <laughs> I love the way you think, honey. <laughs> Say hey, Kay. Hi. <laughs> I'm wearing a little thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the shorts? And, and the sh Amazon to throw you off. Hey. <laughs> tones though it's the vibes it's, it's the, the vibes <laughs> okay so Kim is about to give us a tour of her beautiful we home we that's all you guys do not let me miss my call at 6 30. did you set an alarm I think so I think you think you I think so <laughs> I can't remember oh yeah for your call girl yeah what time is it it's 550. We got time. Okay, we got we're time. good. We're yeah. good. All right. That's the um this is my bedroom. Guess bathroom. That's my mom's bedroom, right? <laughs> Mine's up there. You got to go stand. Cute. Go stand. Oh, it's the booty for me. <laughs> Wait, we got to rub it. We got to rub, rub it like it. you yeah. rub the Buddha. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. I feel like that was like, nah, not today. Not today. Nice guys. Hi. You're so cute. Her little booty. Give her the toy. Right. She's so happy. I like the black doors. Thank you. Vibey. Oh, she saved the best for last. Never mind. I'm taking this room. I'm going take her room. Girl, thanks, Kim. This is cute. Thanks, Kim. Thanks, Kim. Wait, this one. I love it. Oh, this is the best room in the house. There you go, right there. Boom, right there. Yeah, right. She like, yeah. This one, I like. We did it right here. Oh my blood. gosh, can I smell this perfume? You can smell any of them. Because I have been dying wait, to wait, smell wait, it. Yeah. And I think the YSL smells like smell grandma too, but like, in like a good like, way. I have like the See, one that's like I don't more pinky smell color. Like, oh, I love that one. That's what I have one right now, but it's just more pinky. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. I told you. It's like, it's and it, it makes me think of my girl. It's different. I think it's all like, it's like different. It's different from your regular day. Why don't, wait, damn, why don't I know, this shit gets addicting, right? It's <laughs> yeah. like, dang, let me smell them all. Right. Everybody says it's not yeah. like baby powder, and that's why I didn't get <laughs> it. Like I, I don't really want to smell like it. But baby powder's not spicy to me, though. It's not. It's like an airy, fresh. Right. Right. No, it's definitely So maybe it's baby powder with a little It's definitely spicy. I don't know. I don't know. Warm it <laughs> no, I'm done. <laughs> you would think they were under the influence. Always. I'm gonna cry. Are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you that hit me my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wine. It is definitely wine. Please tell me it's my wine. This is your wine or my wine? No, no, that's your wine. Okay, <laughs> 
Oh wow. It's the hair for me. She's framing big. I'm just admiring the hair. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you can get it if I get it. I actually just did it. Ooh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> it is currently the next day, but we got a little lit last night. I had such a good time with the girls. Casey and Kim are just, I love them to pieces. And I have not <laughs> laughed so hard in a very, very long time. So it's a great time. Before we actually sign off, I did want to kind of talk about this gel a little bit more. You know how you... <laughs> You can tell like what side I slept on, <laughs> which is why this curl is looking a little crazy. But um, this is just not really giving for me. There's frizz happening and this is just day two. This is what I would expect more day three, day four type hair to look. But for me to wake up on day two, which is usually my best, most favorite hair day ever. Um, I'm not really super excited about it. I don't even know if the camera is picking this up properly, but like like there's just frizz it's just the front of my hair is very frizzy it's just it's not giving it's not giving so unfortunately this gel is going to be a no for me but yeah guys i had so much fun spending the day with you also in the process of planning more vlogs i'm hearing a lot about youtube vlogmas i'm trying to participate in that this year so stay tuned we may have some really fun interesting things happening including a holiday giveaway that might be a little massive i have a lot to just give i need to get rid of stuff i love giving to y'all it makes me so excited to give and so but that's what i'm trying to do a lot of this holiday season so stay tuned don't miss out on any new videos make sure you subscribe so that way you really won't miss out on any new videos and yeah guys i will catch you in the next one bye